Thank you. Um, along the lines of preventing violence, <coughs> refugees have become an issue. And shortly after, after the terrorist attacks in Paris, uh, this would be the Mr. Marchand first, some governors across the country, including our own Governor Hassan, called for a complete freeze of Syrian refugees entering the United States until the federal government could guarantee that the vetting process, quote, ensured the safety of the American people, ensured. Do you believe that there should be a freeze on Syrian refugees? And if so, what action would you take to make that happen here in the state of New Hampshire? No, I disagreed with Governor Hassan on that issue. I said that uh, at the time as well. Uh, I take this a little more broadly in terms of immigration. Uh, I'm a first generation American. My folks came down from Quebec in the 1960s and I, I was born and raised a couple miles from here on the west side of Manchester. When I look at the future of New Hampshire and America's economy, and I heard the Republicans actually talking about this tonight, the key to our economic growth, the key to getting younger as a state and as a country, the key to entrepreneurship is increasing the amount of immigration that we have in New Hampshire, irrespective of their country of origin. I have confidence at the national level that the screening is done at a, a point that I'm comfortable, irrespective of uh, uh, their country of origin, that they can come here, roll up their sleeves, and be a part of what has been the past, the present, and the future of New Hampshire's economy, which is legal immigration and being engaged as entrepreneurs and members of our workforce. Mr. Connolly. You know, we're the second oldest state in America, the fastest growing oldest state in America. The only meaningful job in population growth, believe it or not, will be 65 and older. So, and we have the lowest birth rate in America. So when I look at immigration in terms of what we are as a people and as a country, we need to welcome immig immigrants into our state, into our country. And there's a vetting process now over two years for these kind of refugees. I welcome the Syrian refugees into our state. I welcome any politically uh, harmed person who's coming to our country who wants to start a better life for their family, and I think it's the right thing to do. And call, uh, Councilor Van Ocean. You ahead. know, the governor's first job before everything else is to make sure that the people of New Hampshire are safe and secure. And I know the best way to do that is with deep individualized security screenings for those refugees or new Americans coming into our state, not using nationality or religion as a litmus test. Uh, the truth is that doing that is kind of like a security blanket. It makes you feel better, but it doesn't actually make you any warmer. And in fact, I think it undermines our security because it empowers the terrorists who are trying to recruit people to hate us and attack our country. It gives them a reason to do that. Uh, you know, I saw a picture a week or two ago of a young boy, a Syrian uh, in Aleppo, I think it was, maybe five years old, covered with grime and blood and just in a state of shock. He is not a national security threat to our country. He's a five-year-old five -year orphan. And once you acknowledge that, you have to acknowledge that it's not his nationality that should be the deciding factor of whether somebody comes into our country or not, but it's, in fact, a deep, long, individual security screening process. And I think that's the best way to keep our country safe. And I know that diversity is what brings us strength. It's not a point of weakness for our country. Right, let's go back to John DeStaso for a related topic. Real, real quick before I get to the next part, all three of you then are comfortable with the current vetting process. I think there's always opportunities to strengthen it. Uh, I don't know that I'll ever be comfortable and sit back and say, yes, everything's fine. But I don't believe that using nationality or religion gets it any stronger. I actually think that weakens the system we have now. Uh, Mr. your question, yes. The vetting process is at the federal level. Okay. It's, it's my understanding it's a two-year process. <clears throat> Excuse me, this is not a, we're not going to be at the state level monitoring and putting putting processes in place to figure out who's coming in here that's at the federal level uh, there's, a, there's a related question here